We can find the determinant of any matrix using so-called cofactors method. So basically, if you are given the 3 by 3 matrix, you are going to through one of the rows or one of the columns, and you're going to multiply its entries. For example, if we decide to go through the first row, we're going to multiply the entries from the first row to their cofactors, and we are going to add those terms. So the cofactor C i j is the determinant of a matrix, which is obtained by eliminating i's row and j's column of the original matrix A and additionally multiplied to minus 1 in the power of i plus j. So every entry has its cofactor, and we can find this by eliminating, uh, we can find this by finding the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by eliminating the i's row and the j's column of the original matrix. So let's find the determinant of the following matrix. using the cofactors 1, 0, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 4. So we can find the determinant of this matrix by going through the first row, for example. So it is going to be 0 multiplied to its cofactor, C11, plus 1 multiplied to its cofactor, C12, plus 3 multiplied to its cofactor C13. So we don't need to find the cofactor 1, 1 because we're going to multiply this as a 0 anyway. So let's find the cofactor C12. So this cofactor C12 is obtained by eliminating the first row and the second column, right? And we're going to find the determinant of the matrix which is left. It is going to be 1, 0, 0, 4. And additionally, we have to multiply this as a minus 1 in the power of 1 plus t, where 1 and 2 are coming from the indices of the cofactor. It's going to be a 4 multiplied as a minus 1, or simply minus 4. And the cofactor C13 is obtained by eliminating the first row and the third column. And we're going to find the determinant of this matrix, which is left 1, 2, 0, 3. And additionally, we have to multiply this as a minus 1 in the power of 1 plus 3. So this is going to be a 3 minus 0, or simply 3 multiplied as a 1, or simply 3. So we are going to eliminate, if we, could, we are going to evaluate the determinant now by substituting the cofactors. It's going to be 1 multiplied as a minus 4 plus 3 multiplied to the 3, or simply this is going to be equal to the 5. So we can find the derivative of this matrix by going through actually any row. For example, we can go through the third row and we can find the determinant. It's going to be 1, 3, uh, 0, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 4. So let's go through the third row. So if I would like to find the determinant of this matrix by going through the third row, we're going to multiply 0 to the cofactor C31 plus 3 multiplied to the cofactor C32 plus 4 multiplied to the cofactor C33. So let's evaluate the cofactor C32. So this is going to be obtained by finding the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by eliminating the third row and the second column. So this is going to be 0, 3, 1, 0. And additionally, we are going to multiply this as a minus 1 in the power of 3 plus 2. So this is going to be minus 3 multiplied as a minus 1, or simply 3. So the cofactor of the 3, 3 is obtained by eliminating the third row and the third column. And we can find the determinant 0, 1, 1, 2. And we have to additionally multiply this as a minus 1 in the power of 3 plus 3 or simply it is going to be minus 1. So we need to just substitute this to here. It's going to be 3 multiplied as a 3, plus 4 multiplied as a minus 1, which is going to be equal to the 5 again. So we can apply this cofactor method to the bigger matrices as well. For example, if I would like to find the determinant of this matrix, 0, 0, 2, 3, 
zero two two zero two z two zero zero two zero zero two using the curve factors we can go through any row or any column so let's go through the first row so this is going to be zero multiplied to its curve factor plus zero multiplied to the curve factor c one t plus t multiplied to the curve factor c one three plus three multiplied to the curve factor c one four so let's find the curve factor C13 first of all, because these two curve factors, it doesn't matter what they are, we're going to multiply them to the zero anyway. So the curve factor C13 is obtained at minus 1 in the power of 1 plus 3 multiplied to the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by eliminating the first row and the third column, which is going to be 0, 2, 0, 2, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2. So we are going to evaluate the determinant of this matrix again using the curve factors. We're going to go through the first row, right? So we just need to find the curve factor of this element t. So this is going to be equal to say minus, so minus one in the power of four, it's already one, right? So the determinant of this matrix is going to be t multiplied to the minus one in the power of one plus t, because this t is at this position, multiplied to the determinant, which is t is zero, t and t. So which is going to be equal to the t multiplied to the minus 1 minus t, right? And multiplied to the 4, which is going to be minus 8. So let's find the curve factor c, 1, 4, which is going to be minus 1 in the power of 1 plus 4, multiplied to the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by eliminating the first row and the fourth column. So it is going to be 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, 0. 2, 0, 0, and we can find actually determinant of this matrix, which is 3 by 3, by going through the third row, right? So we just need to multiply the t to its curve factor, plus 0 to its curve factor, plus 0 to its curve factor, and it is just enough for us to find the curve factor of this t on the first column. So minus 1 in the power of 5 is going to be minus 1. So multiply to this t, multiply to the minus 1 in the power of 1 plus sorry, 3 plus 1, because the coordinate of this t is 3 and 1, multiplied to the determinant, which is t, 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 0. So this is going to be minus 1, multiplied to the t, multiplied to the uh, 0 minus 4, which is going to be minus 4, or simply 8. Right? Okay, so now we just need to put them to here. So this is going to be t multiplied to the c13, which is minus 8, plus 3 multiplied to the c14, which is 8, and the answer is simply is equal to the plus 8.